England's only representative left out there. Wang leading Dix 5-4 at the moment. I think there'll be a lot of uh, very, very tight games today. And we'll do our best to uh, bring you up to date with who is beating who. al Qaeda beating Quo at the moment, 6-4. Earl of Pearl Strickland on the, uh, the main table a little bit later on. Luke Salvas, Johnny Archer is, uh, is next up, by the way, on the main table. Well, Francisco Bustamante, 5-3 down against uh, Manalo. And that's uh, confirmation of the, uh, the score on the, uh, the main table. And you can see uh, confirmation of that 6-3 uh, lead now for Manalo. The man who uh, put out Yang and the man who will play perhaps the winner of this match, Huang and uh, Rico Dix. Dix uh, trailing 5-4 at the moment. And uh, al Qaeda confirmation of that 6-4 uh, of a quo of uh, Taipei. So, a lot of people looking at uh, the outside tables. We're concentrating our efforts on the main table there. Let's head back to commentary. Uh, Jim Weish and Nick Hawley. Okay, Efren just having a little look at the Thank table you. there, back checking nine. everything's all right. Oliver, and Oliver to break. heading all back right. to break. Okay, the machine will be winding it up here. Rack number nine of a scheduled 19. Make that 18. It's a race to nine. Yeah, make that 17. I'll get the math right. I don't want to have to take my <laughs> shoes and socks off. Best of 17. And Ortman, as he's done here from the outset, when he's had control of the break, he's brought it home. And look at the way they've sat up for him here. Well, the only possible problem as he just gets a nice little bounce off the jaw there. He's right smack in the middle of the table with a three and seven, and that's what he's looking at now. They've snuggled up a little bit tight. Yeah, that doesn't look like an issue at all. I think Oliver's just settling himself, wants to get back into the focus, and he brings that cue ball back out the middle of the table. That three is going to be available to the bottom right corner. So this is nothing more than just trying to resettle your nerves. He's had a bit of a break. And now just bump this two in, just a very little bit of check side. Back to the middle of the table, perfectly on the three. And if he nails this without uh, difficulty, it's tough to see what's gonna cause him a problem in this rack. Leffern. Well, got out of his chair during that little interval, if for no other reason other than to just stretch. This has to be one of the most difficult aspects of nine ball. When you get sat in your chair for lengthy periods of time, that Q arm can develop a little rust. How do you maintain that positive outlook and approach? Only the top players have the answers there. Well, did you think we'd see a, a moment like this, Jim, early here on day six of the championship? The, the twin demigods of Filipino pool, Reyes and Bustamante, both losing at the moment. Well, Altman, of course, this match is level, but I mean, if Altman were to take this rack as we expect, he'd have his first lead of the match. Didn't want contact there. He tried to get between those two. And so for the first time in a long while, a mistake and Efren Reyes with a glimmer of hope. He just sat up in his chair when he heard that contact, you know. Outside chance at a bank here. Very tough. He was queuing up at that. So he was going to be trying to cut it in. I can't imagine him trying to slice that into the corner pocket, not from that angle. If he's going to attack, it's going to be a bank because he can take that cue ball over towards the six and the seven, and he may even hide it if he misses the bank shot. 
If he elects to attack, it'll be in that form, rest assured. Even Efren Reyes has to applaud the courage right now and the shot making skill on display from the machine. A great bank shot there. He's just unwilling to let Reyes back to the table at all. And this is a nice little shot. It was so gutsy, Jim, because if it hadn't come off, Reyes would have got up and almost certainly run the table, and then he's back in control. Well, Oliver played that, though. I'm not too sure he might not have hidden that ball had he missed it. He just doesn't look like missing. And for the first time in the match, the machine takes the lead. Five in a row now for Oliver Ortman. This fascinating duel continues. A tremendous turnaround here. Who could have expected it? After dropping the first four racks, Oliver Ortman leapt out of his chair when the mistake came from Reyes. And he has turned this one right around. He's gonna be brimming with confidence right now as he strides to the table to break Thank off. You, rack 10. And in stark Oliver contrast, break, what doubt is going through the mind of Efren Reyes. Can he keep this break going? The wing ball is down. He's not on the one. That one caught the jaw of the side pocket. And Oliver knows. Just having a look at how they finish here. I just want to be sure before I make this statement because you just never know with Ortman. But I've got a feeling that he's going to be playing safe here. There's no way he'll be attacking from this position. And the nine over on the right hand side presents a combination from the four ball. And I think you're going to see Oliver look to duck here, Nick. No options at all. Yeah, and a lot of bolt holes to hide in. See that six ball takes the bank shot away. Just strikes me, Jim, that you think that so much of pool is, is is about potting and making the shot, but the more you watch these top guys, it's about more about correct mental decision making, when to go for it, when to hold, when to play safe. Nick, that's the key in any Q sport. Understanding the percent the percentages of when to attack, when to defend, and also it's a game of feeling, knowing what's right in your heart understanding your ability and being able to put your best foot forward. These are all how the winners can take it across the finish line. But maintaining that focus under pressure is what it's all about. Push out. Well, he's electing the push out here. And I uh, got to say, I don't understand that because he's got the same line. He's just rolled that cue ball a little further away. The shot doesn't change, so if I'm Efren Reyes, I'm thinking if he didn't like it the first time, why wouldn't he keep like him, it this time? Keep him there, his problem. But Reyes didn't waste much time in saying no. Nope. Oliver, your problem, not mine. Yeah, the only shot I see here, and Oliver was looking at it. It's about a quarter ball hit on the one. He's going to dig into the cue ball a little with a lot of right hand spin and swing it off the two cushions, taking the cue ball up towards the top right hand pocket. Trying to lay that one ball over behind one of those colors. I think what's bothering Oliver with this shot is he knows if he doesn't hide the one, good chance he's going to leave it. Now 
he may have changed his mind he just got up